So here we are, it's the 31st of May and we're here at Fun Spot in New Hampshire. It's boiling hot and it's time for the 15th annual International Classic Gaming Tournament. Let's get it on. Oh, it's a being cold in here. So here we can see the tournament is already well underway been going on for about a day and a half already so let's not waste any time and go and register here's what's in the goodie bag we have registered now here's what's in the goodie bag this year first of all we get tokens of course to play the games lots of fun spot tokens we get a very cool fun spot drink can thingy don't really know what you call that we get we were entrance 99 and 98 so we just qualified for the free t-shirts only the first hundred got them so there's the t-shirt this year pretty cool it is in size xl so i think i'm going to give mine away when we get back to the uk and there's also some posters and some other various things in a cup here dining certificate pen doesn't look like any sweets this time around, but never mind. So let's take a look at the games in the tournament this year. Firstly, a new thing to the tournament this year is the 30th Anniversary Challenge. That's three games, all of which celebrate their 30th anniversary this year. Firstly, we've got Star Wars in the cockpit. That's awesome. And we've got Tapper, which I've been playing round and about various places in the US, so that's quite cool. And Elevator Action, which is awful. Uh, then we move on to the main tournament, that's 15 games, and we've got Pack and Pal, Stratavox, The Pit, Junior Pac-Man, uh, Zero Hour, which is a brand new machine in the arcade this weekend, Kickman, Xerion, Devious, another game I hate, uh, Zarzon, Moon Patrol, The End, uh, Popeye, and a game that I can't see what it is, oh Head On, that's a real old game, and even older than that, Atari's Night Driver. And we also have the Manufacturer's Challenge, which is Konami this year. And there's only four games in this. They did originally have Juno first in, but they've taken it out because too many people were getting monster scores on it. So we've got Jailbreak, Kicker, also known as Shaolin's Road, Russian Attack, also known as Green Beret, and Life Force, also known as Salamander. And uh, Russian Attack and Kicker were both in my 100k challenge, so I feel fairly confident of getting a decent score on those. And last but not least, today's mystery game of the day is Video Pinball, which is quite a curious looking thing. Whilst Matt has come for the tournament, I have come for this. Hmm. Beat that. This is Night Driver, a very old Atari game. As you can see, all the game is is basically some white dots that move like a racetrack, and the car is actually just a sticker on the front of the screen. And uh, there are three difficulty settings. Uh, apparently, you can play it on whatever level you like. And it's also got a gear shifter. And uh, overall, it's 
pretty cool uh, looking cab, as they were in the 70s, the old black and white games. So here's Xevious and they seem to have it on a brutally hard difficulty setting. Uh, it's also got some wicked screen burn. Just in case you didn't know what you were playing, you can see it all the time you're playing. Uh, but Anna's having a go here and uh, I've had two goes and been absolute garbage at it. She actually looks like she's doing better than me. Saturday morning and uh, about half past ten tournament is uh, underway again has been for about half an hour uh, we were here for about three hours yesterday three and a half hours maybe and uh, the main thing we did was just try and log a score on most of the games there's still a few that we need to log before we'll feature on the high score table uh, we'll just have a quick look at that which has been projected onto the wall done by Arcade again. Uh, yeah, at the moment we won't feature on that left-hand side because we haven't logged a score on every game, but if we just have a quick look around, there are a few places where you might see a score for us, but I can't see any at the moment, so never mind. Oh, there I am. 308 on Night Driver. That's about as good as it got. So, uh, first job today is to log a few more scores and then uh, try and improve some of them. Just a quick look, something else that they're doing here to raise money for ACAM this weekend uh, is a raffle and it's a quite an intriguing way of doing it. There's various prizes up for grabs as you can see here. T-shirts looking particularly cool. Um, Dungeons and Dragons game, DJ Hero etc. Uh, but the way you do it is you buy a ticket and you choose which thing you want to enter your ticket into. So you've got all these different boxes here for the different prizes. So for example, if you want Dungeons and Dragons, there's a few tickets in there. If you want t-shirts, there's tons of them in there, so your chance of winning are much lower. Then you look at um, Irish whiskey glasses and don't know what that is at the end there. Brick of cards and there's virtually none in there, so your chances are better. That's quite an intriguing way so of doing it. For the past three years we've been working on this and finally we said, look, we have to do this for the 15th annual tournament. I want to thank Randy Lawton, uh, who was here for many hours last night helping uh, finish up what I started. Randy's not here yet, but we'll thank him anyway. So, without further ado, <laughs> I would like to. Uh, I'm so tired. I don't know what I'm <laughs> um, David, please do our unveiling of the mystery game of the day Flower by Pomax. <laughs> I'm sure you will thoroughly enjoy this game as much as I have in the back row. This game is great. It is actually really cool. It's very different. Wow. Alright. That was I'm sorry. So there we go. Mystery game of the day for Saturday. Flower. Never heard of it. <laughs> But that's a good thing. So in a sense, it's still a mystery game. <laughs> yeah.
раз делать человечность в мире вроде бы сидим. So we've now logged a score on every game in the main tournament and I've actually logged on every single game apart from the game of the day. So let's take a look at the standings. First look and uh, I've come in at 37th place at the moment and Anna is a little lower down on 55th place so we've both got a bit of work to do there. But I have every faith that she'll improve those scores. And in the Manufacturer's Challenge, I'm currently 20th, quite happy with that, I can definitely improve scores on two of the four games in that, so that's pretty cool. And on the 30th Anniversary Challenge, I'm 26th, and again, I think I can do a bit better on Star Wars and Tapper, don't really care about elevator action. So there we have it, that's where we are at the moment, and we'll see how we get on later in the day. Here we have expert player Donald Hayes been playing Kickman for several hours now uh, and the score is in the millions and as you can see there the uh, first character of the score has gone into alphabetic letters rather than numbers that's how long he's been playing it for so uh, interesting stuff I believe the score is three million and something at the moment not sure exactly when anyone else is going to get a go of it but I don't think it really matters now Saturday afternoon, let's just take another look at the scoreboard. So here's the current standings, there's the top five. And moving down a little, I'm currently in 34th position, which is alright. And Anna's down in 60th position, but her percentage is quite close to some of the people above her, so she's still hopeful of moving up a little bit there. This is the Manufacturer's Challenge and I'm currently in 18th place on that. Pretty happy with that. And this is the 30th anniversary. Don't think much has changed there because I barely had another game. 
27th position on there. Just want to hang on a minute and show the top score achieved by Donald Hayes earlier on Kickman. There it is. 4.1 million, next high score 45,000. With that in mind, let's go take a look at the Kickman machine. Lots of people still beavering away to improve their scores. But what you'll notice is every machine's in action apart from Kickman because now there's no point playing it. Because even if you improve your score by 10,000, it's worth absolutely nothing in percentage terms. You're like moving as you So this is Zero Hour, a uh, lovely looking universal cab, brand new into the arcade this weekend. It doesn't seem to have any sound on the game, but it's basically a shoot 'em up. You can move all over the screen, so it's almost like a scrolling shoot 'em up. And there's basically two levels to it one where you shoot asteroids and TIE fighters, and then one that's like a docking level, which we're about to see. And you basically just have to control the spaceship and dock it with this platform. You don't even have to land on it particularly well to get the bonus. Anywhere, any kind of contact seems to do it. So there you go, pretty simple controls, it's just left, right and shoot. And uh, this is apparently part of the Cosmic series, which also included Cosmic Avenger, Cosmic Alien and Cosmic something else I've forgotten. Cosmic Gorilla. So it's now just after 6 o'clock and there's been a bit of movement on the table, not much for me. I'm now in 32nd place in the main tournament, but Anna has improved her scores and jumped up to 54th place with 141%, comfortably away from the bottom, so she's very happy. Popeye is not a very popular game and it's also a bit busted. The, uh, some of the graphics are corrupted, as you can see olive oils split into the wrong quarters. So it's Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, we'll check out the current tournament rankings at the moment. But of course, it's not just about the main Funspot tournament here at Funspot, we also get people playing their favourite games and trying to set impressive live scores. And uh, as you can see there, there's a young lady playing Bank Panic, who's hoping to set quite an impressive score later today and get it recorded by the guys here going quite nicely at the moment. Uh, we've got some single game tournaments. Today's mystery game is Rally X, which just disappeared off the screen as I tried to zoom in. Uh, coming up in a moment will be the main tournament rankings. The screen's gonna be switched off at midday today, so this could be the last update until the end of the tournament. There we go, overall standings, and I am currently 31st, and Anna is off the bottom of the screen, I think she's about 60th at the moment. Uh, so there's a few games I need to improve on, Pack and Pal and Junior Pac-Man and Popeye being three of them. Uh, and also the two games beginning with Z, Zero Hour and Zorzon.
So here we have a couple of legendary characters playing games quite like you've never seen before. Check out, this is Don Hayes playing Millipede. And just a few machines down, another trackball expert, Mr. Tony Temple himself, an allegedly game of Missile Command, just the 840,000 points on the board at the moment. Congratulations, you have Orcade's fun spot record for Bank Panic. <laughs> Go tell someone for me, like, goes away. It's four o'clock and we're reaching the last knockings of the tournament, just an hour left to go for people to log their scores. Uh, I haven't logged anything for a while now, I've pretty much done everything I'm going to do. Don't know where I'm going to finish now because the overall leaderboard's been dropped from the scoreboard. So let's just take a look at the people who are still trying to up their scores, probably the guys who are in the sort of top five positions in the game. The main tournament, I'm not sure what the standings are there at the moment, but uh, that could still be up for grabs in certainly second and third place. Um, so everyone's still having a game of things where they can. Except for Xevious, where someone got a million points and everyone else gave up. Um, as you can see, there's not many people still playing now, really. Most people, I think, have already done it as well as they think they're going to do. And uh, Funnily enough, this was dead this morning. The manufacturer's challenge, but suddenly people all seem to be having a go at that. 
and uh, today's game of the day is Rally X as I mentioned earlier I did get 51,000 on that top score at the moment was about 95 I believe so uh, that'll be the end of that for me as well so I've just got a slightly better score on Stratovox 12,700 I'm going to get that logged and show you how the score logging is done Very good. so uh, my number is 99 All right, so uh, click on the game type in the number of the player and type in the score one two seven hundred and then I have to press the big tick oh, and that's that's on. it all done thank yep. you very much sir and thank you for all your help this weekend no problem so once the score has been entered it appears on this screen here and you can see me just at the bottom there there's my 12,700 just got me onto the scoreboard in 43rd place so uh, it's a very very clever system administered by these chaps here from Orcade doing a brilliant job as usual and uh, these are the trophies for the event which I shall not be claiming any of unless it's a trophy for most mediocre gamer Time has been called on the tournament, and uh, anyone still playing their score doesn't count, just for fun now. So as we showed a little earlier, the, um, the stage has been set for the presentation, so let's try and find a seat and see. Hi everybody, it's the time of the event that all of you have been waiting for, it's our award ceremony. And I just wanted to ask all of you, did you like the tournament this year? Have a good time. And did we surprise you with some of the titles we uh, pulled out? Oh, yeah. 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 All right, that, you know, that is, that's our goal, is, is to challenge you to be the best that you can. No warning, you're just thrown right into the frying pan immediately. Uh, we took it to a, another level this year by covering up the games. Uh, it was fun to watch you walk through the door and go, oh, <laughs> they're covered? So that, that was just a little fun we wanted to have, just to make sure that, you know, you were going to be totally surprised when we pulled the cover off. So I'm glad we were able to do that for you. Just wanted to give you some quick stats on the tournament this year. We had 18 different states represented here. We had Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Maryland, Maine, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Wisconsin, Michigan, Tennessee, Ohio, Iowa, South Carolina, Washington, and the District of Columbia. We also had from our good friends up north in Canada, we had five different provinces represented. Hopefully I got that correct. We had Ontario, Quebec, Manitoba, Alberta, and Prince Edward Island. And we had three folks came here from the UK, and Robert McCauley made the trip again from Australia. So this is truly...
international gathering, and I want to thank all of you folks. It is very, very humbling to us to realize how far people come to get together with people who have similar interests and have a good time and, you know, a good, fun competition for four days. David, you told me there was a very impressive statistic on the number of scores entered this year. 4,505 scores logged this year in the tournament. Amazing. Amazing. And now we'll get into the big trophies. In our manufacturer's challenge, third place and $100 goes to Eric Geddes. And second place in the Manufacturer's Challenge with a $250 prize, Greg Lau. And the winner of the Manufacturer's Challenge for $500, Martin Bedard. Now the final competition, final three trophies. It was our main tournament. Third place with 760.05. And $250 goes to Jason Cram. Second place, 823.95% and $500, Steve Wagner. And first place in the main tournament, 891.66% and $750, Goes to John McAllister. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming this year, traveling great distances to play classic games here. We appreciate your support, your enthusiasm, and we hope you had a great time and have a safe trip back home and hope to see you again soon. So the tournament is over, the prizes have been given, all that remains to see is how we did ourselves in the overall standings. Let's take a little look. Or do you want to go back? 30th anniversary challenge, don't really care, but I came 39th. Yeah. 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 Did enter a game of the day in the end, and it was Rally X, and I came 6th. Pretty happy with that. And the main tournament is coming up next. Main tournament somehow managed to move up to 28th place, 315.21%, and Anna finished 62nd with 124.11, but I think we all know what her biggest achievement of the weekend was. And last but not least, the manufacturer's tournament. Dwayne. Top 20, 19th place. If you don't know that, Thanks to two late increases on Russian attack and kicker. And that is that for another year. Bye bye.